Sneakerhead's back after a long, long time off, really. And no, I wasn't on holiday with the Queen. I was just doing stuff. But I'll tell you that in the next video. Anyway, we're back, yeah, we're back. It's autumn, we're back. And we can look at Peppermint 5. Based on the LTS of Lubuntu stroke Lubuntu stroke Lubuntu's, it aims to give you a nice, fast experience, including web, cloud, and desktop. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. So it is more orientated for the cloud, but you can still do plenty of stuff without the cloud, if you know what I'm saying. Now, as you can see, it's a very, 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 very basic backtop. Drop even. So I go to desktop preferences and see what wallpapers we got, which are quite a few. I've actually you know, installed this, by the way. What have we got there? Oh, there's only a couple of nice ones. What else we got? That one there. No logo. Oh, should we try that one? Just for a change. We'll open that and use that for a change. Oh, that's a bit white, isn't it? No, we'll change that again. Oh, oh, oh my eyes. eyes. Bright light, bright light, bright light. Turn it off, please. Thank you. Oh, what's that one there? That's red now. That one there. That's all, all very bright, aren't they? What do you think? Okay, what ones do we have? You know what? We'll go to cold. Oh, that me. oh, it's better. God, I thought I was going blind then. Anyway, we'll get back to the nitty gritty. Now, as I just told you, it's based on the LTS of Ubuntu, so it's heavily based on Ubuntu, okay? But with that, it comes with a nice, light footprint. Although you do get quite a few bits and bobs for you to start off with. So we're going to go straight to the menu. As you can see, it's the usual accessories, games, graphics, internet, office, and sound and video. On top of that, we have system tools, preferences, Chromium is your standard web browser here. Get a software manager, a file manager, and run. So we start off. What do you get? Well, you know, considering it's quite a small download, you get quite a bit. You get an archive manager, a calculator, a character map. Check out your disks, your file manager, which is PC Man FM. Been out a long, long, long time. Take a screenshot, file search. You know, terminal, terminal, terminal. Hello, terminal. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Here you go. As you can see, I'm right in the box, but it is installed in the box. You can run it from a live CD or DVD, but hey, why bother? Just install it and get the full stuff, you know what I'm saying? But you do only get a couple of games, but hey, who cares? For the simple reason, you can just install Steam and it'll go whoosh over the top, you know what I'm saying? So you've got 2D, 3D chest to start with. Let's see if it starts up. I'm going to have a quick drinkage while that's thinking about doing what it's supposed to do, which is not a lot at the moment. Oh, yeah, it is. What was happening there? Well, that's not actually run this before. Oh, it is online that is why it took some time okay yeah i don't know go away could have put a proper one on couldn't they anyway. <clears throat> there's your games and get mahjong and you get tetris is it an online mahjong or is it a proper mahjong well, i'm saying by the stuff it's taking it's what's it gonna do oh you're not in season no i don't know i know see they could have had the proper games on there would have been easier for just a couple of kilobytes, really, at the end of the day, couldn't they? But yes, all right, it's there. But as I said to you before, it is orientated for the web and the online all the time. But it's up to you what you want to install. And the graphics, you just get a document viewer, pixel art, an image viewer, and simple scan. Just plug your scanner or your printer in, and it'll be found almost immediately. The days of not being able to use your printer and Wi-Fi and all that are long, 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 long gone. You get a bit torrent client and Chrome, as I said before, Dropbox, ice, ice, baby. That's desktop integration for web apps, which basically means you can put... I'll show you in a minute, actually. I won't actually tell Online user guide and peppermint forum. So we'll go to the online user guide. Oh, that's a little more drinky, hang on. I'm going to make that a bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Go, 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 go. Thank you. What are we doing, then? The peppermint user's guide. Online. Download and install an intro to the desktop. So we can click there and you can have a quick look on it. There you go. All about it. Not on Netflix, do they have it? Just me. I don't know, I might have to reboot the original. Here. here it will tell you all about it. You can learn anything you want about it, you know. You know, the original Peppermint 1. I mean, do you remember a Peppermint 1? That was a long, long time ago. But as you can see, they can tell you plenty about it. It's all there online for you to have a look at. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I like it anyway. Back to our menu again. Right, we've done that anyway. I'll, I'll do Chromium again in a minute, actually. Office. Mm, still get a document viewer. As you can see, net orientated, you get Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Drive. You can install other stuff, I will show you that in a minute. For sound and video, you get a media player, which is in player. You get quite a cool for your music player, which I like quite a lot. And your pulse audio controls, okay? And the system tools, G parted, network, printers, which you won't have to do, just plug it in. And your task manager. I'll open the task manager up for you so you can have a quick look. As you can see, we're not using hardly any CPU. It's under 200 megabytes of RAM. 
Now this is where Peppermint really comes to its own really. It has such a small RAM footprint, it's nice, nice baby. Wood to you, will it? Anyway, we'll put it. Bit further down, <clears throat> the tools I just said to you, preferences. You can check out your additional drivers, which you may have to do, even if you're using VirtualBox, you're gonna to have to install the driver, okay? And if you've got a NVIDIA card or an ATI, you will need to do that too, especially if you want to run games. Because as you know, most Windows games or PC games, to be precise, you can actually run through one no problem whatsoever. There's another reason I've been, no, not been doing too many videos as well, apart from doing work and stuff. Anyway, you get like, like a settings, you monitor settings, that which says it, the Peppermint Control Center. Shall we have a look at the Peppermint Control Center? I think we should. And have a look at it. There's your window manager, your keyboard and pointer, you can check that out, check, 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 check it out. Keyboard shortcuts, I likey, I likey, a lotty, a lotty, very nice indeed. Desktop effects, well you don't have to have any if you don't want to. So if you're running with limited RAM or your CPU's not the dogs, it's more like the mouses, yeah, this is a place to go to get rid of all these shaders and shadows and bushes over the tops and transparencies and stuff like that. Then we can go into advanced, window cycling, windows focus and accessibility. It's all there for you to play with, isn't it? Right, your software manager. Now let's have our butchers. Now I want my password for this, won't you? So I'll put that in and see what it says to me. Hello, how are you going to I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Hmm. And it is water, by the way, today. It is water. And it, this is Peppermint Fire. It's taken an awful long time. But it's the first time I actually run the software center. Normally, I would go through Synaptic. So, say you were to install an Office program. Now, I've done this before in lots of my videos, but just in case you've never seen it before, or you don't use Linux or anything like that, we'll show you. So, we're not, we won't get a full suite, we'll get Abbey Word, okay? So, if you put Abbey Word in, to the box. And there we are. I only got three stars here. Eh? I wonder why that is. Okay. Oh, I like that, so we'll double click that. See what goes down in the dirt. Okay. Mmm, yeah, should we install that? Why not indeed? So we click install, and in theory, it should start downloading and installing for us. This doesn't take a lot at all, it just pushes along as you do. Okay. Hmm. So I'll wait for that for just a little couple of seconds. Almost done. The download's really small for every word, although it's a really full featured. The only downside to it, sometimes if you're using Microsoft documents, they don't come up very well really sometimes. But hey, it may have changed since the last time I used a Microsoft Office document in Abbey Word, because I don't, I use LibreOffice. And as you know, the open format is going to be used by the British government now anyway, so if you want to look at stuff, you might as well just go get Abbey Word or LibreOffice or one of the suites that we provide in our packages and stuff. Yeah, know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Oh, nice. <laughs> Lovely water down here. It's like 10 tonne of iron in it, actually. While that's installing, and we'll just give it a little bit longer because it's almost finished, as you can see. 99%. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. And in theory, we are installed. So we'll come out of the software center, or the software manager, whatever you want to call it. We'll go to Office, and as you can see, Abbey Words all installed. And guess what? Didn't cost us a penny. No, not a penny. I'll open it up. That's nice big. Lovely jubbly. Now, what version of Abbey Word are we on now? Let's have a look. Mm. Abbey Word 3. God, I remember it was one point something. I'm just getting old and old and old. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's how you install stuff. I'll quickly go to the browser for you, which is Chromium. Then you can put Firefox in or many other web browsers. Just choose which one you want, really, at the end of the day. It's good for you. Uh, I'm not sure if I installed the pattern. I'm not sure, actually. I'll go to the public here. Remember, it's using DuckGo, I think, for its search engine as well. As far as I remember, you can change it if you want to to anything you want. So if you want Google or Bing or Yahoo, you can do that. So we go to the home page of the Webbaker just to make sure we're getting down. There we go. We'll continue that there. It's a small third page. Comes up nice. Super duper. I like it. I like it. Thank you very much. Yes, that works fine. If you like um, <clears throat> a light desktop and you love using the web and you want to put your web apps everywhere and here and there and everywhere, this is where to go, really. LTS means you're going to get at least three years out of it before you have to upgrade. Remember, it's not a rolling release. It is not a rolling release. I like it quite a lot. It does what it says on the tin. Nice and fast. Super duper. Sneaky Linux. Go now. I see you guys. Bye.